morning, Pastor Steve here. Back to Ephesians 4 again, 8 through 10. Therefore, he says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Now this, he ascended, what does it mean that he first descended into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all heavens that he might fill all things. A side note for us, just a pet thing here. I've heard it taught the lower parts of the earth was, was hell or the grave or Hades or whatever. And Jesus did go into the earth. But I want to add a thought here. Psalm 139, 13 through 60, says, You formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden. Here it comes from you. When I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. The Hebrew idiom there, isn't it? For the, for the womb. Your eyes saw my substance when it wasn't formed. So that term may be just referring to the fact that Jesus ascended, but first he descended by birth to a human body. God came down. That's a side thought, but one I like to ponder from time to time. The real point is that he gave gifts to us. Gifts to use. Gifts to benefit the whole body of Christ. Not to make ourselves look good. I am this and I am that now. But to bring honor and glory to the King of Kings. Paul got the intent of this as he told the, the Corinth church in 1 Corinthians 14. Even so, as much as you are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to the edifying or the building up of the body of the church. We said, if I won the lottery, which would be a miracle because I don't buy tickets, I'd pay off my family's mortgages first. That's easy because mine's already paid off. And there are friends and missionaries like to bless in rich ways. That, that's the way we are to think, right? That's the intent of this passage on gifts. We are family. And when Paul said, don't look every man on his own things only, but also on the things of others, that's what he had in mind. That's to be our overall action, our overall my great aunt Nellie placed a nice section of her land in trust. So each year we, who are family, have access to her generosity in a small, clean pond with a cottage and camping areas. Her heart was, not what can I use this money for, but how will it benefit my family? And that's what God wants of us as we use the gifts he gave us. A whole bunch of Aunt Nellies. You ponder that. Bastard. <laughs>